Hi everyone, Heather here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great Thursday. Uh, maybe you're cooking dinner, uh, or just what, what do we do after we get off of work? Kind of scroll through the phone, see what's happening with our friends and our family. Hope you guys are well. Give me a thumbs up or some hearts if you can hear me okay. Uh, we're sitting out on the deck. I love this deck here at our office in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And we got some great news today. I'm sure you saw, if not, I'll tell you what happened. Um, Epidiolex, which is an FDA approved CBD for um, two types of epilepsy for LGS, Lennox Gastaut syndrome and Dravet syndrome, uh, they scheduled that drug today. And so we heard um, this morning that it is a schedule five. Uh, so what that means, that's the, that's the least it could be scheduled. So that's really good news. Um, that also means, thank you, got some thumbs up. Um, and so there's not gonna be a restriction on, you know, it's not like it's a schedule two or a benzo where there's a restriction on how much you can get a prescription for and things like that. So there's not gonna be any issues with access to that drug and um, schedule five uh, seems reasonable. It doesn't change anything for those of us that are accessing whole plant botanical extracts, hemp CBD. So I wanted to make sure that you guys understood that for, for us that are using products that are derived from hemp, uh, there's there's no change at all. It doesn't address that at all. It does, it's not looking at CBD, the molecule. It's just looking at Epidiolex, this particular drug. Um, it is going to allow for Schedule 5 for other cannabis-derived, FDA-approved pharmaceuticals, should those come on the market. So right now, there's, there's nothing else. Um, it is sort of interesting because um, when you look at like THC and the scheduling of, of that, it's, it's a little bit of a mess. It's all, it's all over the place. Um, if you get, you know, THC from uh, like a dispensary cannabis, you know, federally, that's a schedule one. If you get Sesamet, um, a, a pharmaceutical THC, it's a schedule two. If you get Dronabinol, which is also called uh, Marinol, it's a schedule three. So it's, you know, kind of, it's kind of all over the place. And so that, you know, we're sort of maybe creating that situation with, with CBD. Um, it also doesn't affect anything for um, synthetic CBD. So there are a few other pharmaceutical companies. Um, the two I can think of off the top of my head are like Insys and Zynerba that are working on cannabis-based pharmaceutical drugs. Those are synthetic. Uh, so this doesn't address that either. Uh, I'm assuming they are, they're gonna have to go through the process and those would need to be scheduled. But if another cannabis-based, because Epidiolex is an isolate, but it is derived from the plant, so it's not synthetic. So if there was another non-synthetic, cannabis-based drug that came to market, um, then that would also be a Schedule 5. We're going to um, put what we know in an update on our website and share that on socials so you can um, take a look at that. Uh, but we wanted to make sure that you heard the, the update that Epidiolex was scheduled. Um, it was scheduled at the very lowest, which is a Schedule 5, uh, which, is, which is great. Um, Robitussin with codeine, for example, is another Schedule 5. So it gives you kind of an idea of um, what we're talking about here. So uh, exciting for um, GW Pharmaceuticals and their U.S. subsidiary Greenwich uh, that they'll now be able to, doctors will be able to prescribe that. Um, so really good news for them and uh, we've been waiting for this all month. Uh, we're still waiting on the farm bill. I'll give you just a little brief update on that as well. Uh, we were hoping that that would go through this month, uh, but it hasn't. It's been sort of laid over, if you will. Um, it probably will be passed and resolved by the end of the year, uh, but it, it's not going to happen within uh, the month of September. And uh, remember, there's some language that McConnell has added to that bill that basically is allowing for cultivation of hemp in the, in the United States everywhere, as it should be, and also is saying that these hemp-derived products come out of the purview of the CSA. 
just they don't even they don't even deal with that any longer the Controlled Substances Act and so those that that is a really really important bill um, to get passed and uh, we're continuing to show take actions on that so make sure that you spend a couple of minutes to talk to your legislators but that's been kind of held over so that we were hoping to announce that as well within the next uh, well um, by tomorrow but it looks like it's been stayed over so so that's where we're at two very very exciting things in the world of hemp and cannabis so I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend uh, we'll see you later thanks guys bye